everyone, so this is a very, very exciting video and one of my top most requested videos is an updated hair care routine and I've been putting this off for a while just because it's a little bit difficult to film because I wanted to film every step of what I do and I wasn't too happy with my hair but lately, the past three weeks or so I've discovered something and I discovered it by accident when I washed my hair at night and I was going to just straighten it in the morning so I went to bed with it soaking wet and when I woke up in the morning it was really defined and the curls looked really good. So I always used to just wash my hair at night and then just kind of wash it and then leave it down for an hour or two or whatever, however long it is before I go to bed and it'd always be kind of a little bit dry and just always lacking a little bit of oomph and never with as much volume. But since then I have discovered that going to bed with my hair wet is actually the best thing for it because it gives it a lot of volume, the curls are more defined and it just looks much better on me. So that's what I've been doing. I've been washing my hair and then leaving it up in a towel until I go to bed to kind of keep it a little bit wet and then just going to bed with it like that and this is how it turns out. Um, it's obviously different than my first few videos, I've mentioned this before, but my hair was a lot, a lot shorter then, very, very layered and I did like it but at the same time I like it how it is now and I feel like it's much more it's much more me now and when I had it like that before I didn't feel as kind of girly if that makes sense with it a little bit shorter I just love long hair my hair is super long as you can see and I just love having long hair that's not to say that you know shorter hair isn't amazing as well because it is it's just my personal preference and um, I'm gonna show you how I do my hair and what I use I filmed it in kind of the same way as like the Colgate toothpaste advert where I've kind of filmed step by step so you've got footage of me um, just out of the shower applying product, wrapping it up in a towel, then me um, in bed and how I kind of sleep with it and then also me in the morning and what I do with it then and I've just kind of tried to cover all bases for you and I hope you enjoy this, I hope it's helpful to you as well and I hope that it's everything you've been asking for because so many of you wanted me to do this for a really long time and Finally, um, I've gotten around to doing it and I'm quite happy with how my hair is looking at the moment. Today it's kind of a little bit weird but that's probably because I've just been really, really busy and I was up really late last night so it's kind of a little bit weird. But nonetheless, this is the routine that I've been using and um, if you have tried it and it works for you then definitely let me know, I'd love to know and I hope you enjoy this video. So hi guys, I know the lighting in here is really a little bit weird but I'm in my bathroom because this is where I get ready and where I do my hair so I just wanted to show you it like this and I've just got out of the shower, I've cleansed, moisturised, all that kind of thing and I washed my hair and I washed my hair with the Organic Surge Moisture Boost Shampoo and the Moisture Boost Conditioner. Sorry, I was holding that back to the front. The Moisture Boost Shampoo and the Moisture Boost Conditioner. I don't use these all the time. This is just what's in my bathroom downstairs. Sometimes I'll use other ones. I haven't got a conditioner and shampoo combo that are kind of my absolute favourite and my total holy grail for curly hair. I'll kind of just generally use whatever um, I'm using at that time, trying different things, that kind of thing. But I would stay away from anything that's too moisturising and too silicone based if you've got hair that's similar to mine that's quite soft in texture. But I brushed my hair with conditioner on it as I always do and I parted it in the parting that I wanted because I always part it in the opposite parting that I'm going to wear it in. So if I wear it parted on that side, I'll part it where on that side so that then when I move it over it has more volume. But this is what my hair looks like just wrapped in a turban it's a soap and glory turban i love this i use it all the time this is my second one because my first one broke um but i had been using it for a long time so it wasn't the turban's fault but i just got out the shower um as i said brushed it with conditioner and rinse the conditioner off didn't brush it again and I'm not going to brush it again at all now so I just wrapped it up quickly in a towel kind of scrunched it up so I didn't stretch the curl too much and then I'm going to just loosen it and show you what it looks like when it's wet and then I'll start applying products so when my hair is wet this is what it looks like it's kind of got a little bit of a wavy texture rather than a super curly texture you can see that I've parted it down the middle and then I'll just start applying the products I'm going to use and I'm going to show you how I do it like this because I do it with my head upside down and I'm going to try and show you exactly exactly how I do it so the first thing I'm going to use is the Umberto Giannini Smooth, Smoothly Curls anti Frizz Serum which looks like this and I'll just pump about that much into my hands and rub it between the palms of my hands and then just start to kind of apply it to the ends of my hair. I kind of concentrate it mainly on the ends, trying not to get it too much into kind of the front of my hair. But just apply it like that. 
So I've got that applied all over. Then I'll go in with my Umberto Giannini Flirty Curl Scrunching Jelly, which looks like this. I'll use probably about that much. You don't want to use too much of this or it can make your hair go crunchy. Again, smooth it between my hands and go through the same process, which is just basically scrunching. So I just scrunch my curls and it helps to kind of define them and give them a little bit more of oomph. So I'll just keep doing that for a little bit. And then I go in with my hair mousse. So the hair mousse I'm using now is the Pantene Defined Curls Hair Mousse. Give it a good shake and spray some out into my hands. It's going to make a weird noise. Like that. <laughs> and I use about that much. And then I'll just kind of get that again in between the palms of my hands. And the same process as I did with all the other products. But I do try and take my mousse a little bit kind of more to the roots of my hair to help give it a bit of a volume boost. So just scrunch it into my hair like this everywhere. I hope you can see. I'm kind of trying to look in the viewfinder as I'm doing it. And then a little bit more. And by a little bit, I really do mean a small, small amount. And then tilt my head and just apply it kind of to the roots, scrunching it like so. And then I'll just apply a little bit of a kind of texturizing spray. I'm loving the VO5 Tussle Texture Spray at the moment. So what I do is sometimes I'll spray a little bit onto my hand like this. Again, rub it in between and just kind of run it through my hair. But most of the time I like to just kind of spurt, squirt it from the bottom. So I give it a good shake and then just with my head upside down from afar, spray it into my hair all over. It's quite alcohol based and it's quite drying but my hair needs that. If your hair doesn't then feel free to not use this and to skip this step. And then just kind of move my hair into how I would like it to dry and spray a bit more onto the roots. I know it seems like a lot of products but it's not for me and it's what I've kind of always done and it works really well. So I'll just kind of come a little bit closer so you can see. The curls aren't like super defined because my hair is really long and it's still wet. So I just kind of scrunch it in and try and make sure that the kind of parting is quite messy because that's what gives a lot of volume, but you don't want to touch it too much. And then I'll go ahead and wrap it back up into the hair towel and leave it for the night until I go to bed, which I'll explain at the start of the video. But I'm just going to wrap it up into my hair towel, so turn my head upside down, pop the towel on it, like this, and then instead of just wrapping it up, I kind of scrunch my hair into the towel to the top so it kind of remains more curly and then just wrap it up and secure it at the back like so and that's it that's how i'm going to leave my hair now until i go to bed and then i'll show you hi guys Thanks. so i'm actually just about to go to bed now and as i said i've left the hair thing on all um evening so i've had it on for about two hours and like that um but i'm gonna get into bed and i'll just take it off and i don't put my hair up or anything i go to bed with it wet as i explained in the beginning of the video i go to bed with it wet and i'll just kind of prop it up against the pillow at the top of the pillow and um i won't show you that because i can't really hold the camera and that kind of thing but basically if i lie down my hair just goes up behind me not in a bun nothing like that and um and i'll check back with you again in the morning to show you what my hair looks like hi everyone so i have just woken up and that's why i kind of look all sleepy and disheveled but this is what my hair looks like when i first woke up i thought i'd kind of be really thorough and show you everything but i'm gonna just bung it up in a clip just kind of however to get it off my face well i go and have a shower and get dressed and then i'll show you how i kind of just move it around and style it to wear it for the so I've got an out of the shower, got undressed, put my makeup on. This is how I would just stick my hair up um, in a clip. I just kind of scrunch it all up and stick the clip in and my hair is kind of, so, there's so much of it that it'll kind of just hold itself in place really with just the assistance of a clip. But I'll just leave it up while I'm kind of getting dressed, putting my makeup on, um, having some breakfast, all that kind of thing. And then before um, I'm going out and once I'm all ready, then I'll do my hair. And what I do is I'll just get it out of the clip like this and it'll kind of just stay like that for a minute. Shake it out, bring it to the front, and then tip my head upside down like this, mess it up with my hands, 
really kind of try and move it around and then flick it back up. Once I've flicked it back up, this is what it looks like. And then I'll just kind of organize the parting into how I want it, which is usually something like this. I don't try and worry about it being too neat. Um, and you know, if there's a little bit of frizz in it, I don't mind too much like how it is now, that's okay. And I'll just leave it like that. I don't use any styling products in the morning. Sometimes I might just use a little bit of hairspray or something, but nine times out of 10 I don't. And I will just go out with my hair like this. And my hair is minimal effort in the morning, which is great because I've always got a million other things to do in the morning before I've got to go. So that's what I do um, in the morning. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I really, really hope that it's given you all the answers you need. I know it's something that a lot of you have been asking, so I'm really pleased that I've been able to do it for you now. And yeah, give this video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.